Hello guys, welcome back, it's Illogical as always, and as I said, we took out the first layer, or, or the first part of the DLC, so we did, right? Now, because we've taken out the first part of the DLC, what we're actually going to go do now, is we're going to go deal with something that I really don't want to, but I'm indeed forced to. Um, I really, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to go into this area. In all very like I don't like this dungeon in the slightest. I really don't need 25 arcane years. I really don't like this dungeon in general, and this is just gonna make it so much worse. In saying that though, is we do have substantially more powerful weapons now, and I'm kinda curious to what weapon I might switch to, if I'm being honest. That's an arcane, I need 14 arcane for that weapon mole. Because as I say, there is this, like there is the almighty whirly gig saw that we could use. So there is, and because it's a physical, um, physical whirly gig, it means beast hunter pellets or the beast blood pellets would be rather very, very nice. So it would be beast blood pellets would make it an exceptionally easy fight. But at the same time, though, I'm just like, but why? Let's go! It shouldn't be too difficult because I'm not cursed. Right, let the fun begin. I'm not cursed, so I'm not up. I'm not royally up shit creek. But I did get a good laugh. So uh, whenever I was doing my research for the chalice dungeons, like the fetid, rotted, and cursed um, affixes to it, um, what I found was something very interesting. The, each of the afflictions basically um, add like 20% to uh, to your acne drop. Oh fuck, these guys are beefy. Oh fuck, these guys are beefy. Um, that's not good. I'm gonna need stronger gems. That is. Not good by any stretch of the imagination, right? What have you got for me? Hey, okay, now I feel like I am cursed. Tempering damp blood. Oh, I get temperings from the Iz dungeon? Does that mean we are. Does that mean I'm gonna go through here to get a fucking decent triangular gem? Really? Can you just, like, stop, like, wailing on me here, like? Like, stop it. Like, don't get me wrong, fantastic, uh, drops, or echo drops, but in terms of damage, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by my own... Where the... What the... Huh? I hate this place sometimes because you get lost so fucking easily. There it is there. I just got molested by rats for no fucking reason then. No, it just means I'm going to have to run a cursed version of these dungeons. Do you fucking mind game? Alright, remind me to avoid them like a fucking plague. No, what I was saying is, is now I'm going to be forced to run a, cur like a, a really cursed version of these dungeons to get a fucking decent gem. I didn't say that there, like, I don't even have the strongest gems possible because I didn't, didn't do the Demero Age Chalice, obviously. So, yeah, brain suckers are. Uh... Oh, I just get minced by blood damage. 21k, and this isn't even with the extra affixes added to it. Like, like it, once you get the understanding, like, I think, was it the fetid adds 20%, the cursed, was it the fetid adds 20%, the rotted er, uh, adds 20%, and then the cursed adds 50%. That's 90% additional echoes, plus you have the layer modification to the echoes. Now, bearing in mind, this one here is currently base, so you're talking about. 5k an enemy, 5 to 6k an enemy, give or take, right? And then, so you add 
90% on top of that there, plus whatever moon runes you've got. Ooh, that's a, a, like, that's a lot of blood echoes whenever you think about it, guys. Like, that really and truly is a lot of blood echoes. Like, it, it, it's enough to know that it can't be understated. So it is. Like, how much are you worth? 6k. So the standard enemy is worth 6k. Do you see where that multiplier could come in very fucking quickly? Right, we'll go up first. Because going up's easier than going down. So it is. But no, it... it hmm. Power is definitely going to be an argument. Like, there's 2k for them things, like. Right, I'm sorry. Fuck you, dogs. Luckily enough, what I have is a bleed weapon, and because of the way this game works, animals get knocked over by bleed damage. Not good. Not good! Fuck you, game! I fucking hate these dogs. Right, we're back. My trick right now is kill you so I can get my shit back. Kill the spider. Bow marrow ash. Pop. Oh, I see an odd crawler over there too. Seriously, did that not trigger you to come and try and fight me? Pop. Wakey wakey dry. Doge, what are you doing, mate? There we go. Fuck you and your hyper armor. 10k. What are you looking? A quick death? I'm more than happy to oblige. And this is why the Avalon is broken. Whenever the Avalon can pump out just like base weapon damage, like 200 damage per gunshot. Sure, uh, not particularly fantastic. I doubt I'm going to get a, a gem down here that is going to rival what I've currently got uh, in terms of the big. Oh, okay. I doubt I'm gonna get anything that will rival what I currently have in that slot, so I would have to do a cursed version of the dungeon to get a decent gem. Which... Mm, I, that, that just sounds like a, a whole lot, and I mean a whole lot, of unnecessary pain added items. In fairness, it'd be smart doing it, because then it would make the following NG pluses substantially easier. I'm not denying that, but the pain of doing it though is really sort of getting to me. Because it's not like these dungeons are fucking easy, you know? It is not like these dungeons are easy. I need you brain suckers are just fucking pish. No, it's not like these dungeons are easy, so and then I cursed all of the additional shit to it. Like I'm gonna be very clear here, guys, right? Whenever I was doing the Sumerian, like I'd explain to you that I'd done two previous cursed dungeons. Two root dungeons, might I add, right? And all was fine and dandy, bar the fact that it ripped about 60% of my health gauge off me, and then proceeded to literally body me. And by I mean body me, I mean I ran into a fucking Canehurst Hunter. Wielding an Evelyn that legitimately one-shot me. Well, no, it wasn't a one-shot, it was a two-shot. So if I got caught lacking, I got, I got, I got messed up. Like, there wasn't even a, there wasn't even a joke to be had. I, if I got caught lacking, I was dead. I don't like the fact that, that there's no.
See, you got exceptional physical resistance, but fuck all blade resistance. Piss off. A hunt? <laughs> Guys, please tell me you understand the context here. Just do a fucking d chalice dungeons, guys. A hundred k for a boss, and I'm not even running all three moon runes, and we're using the two upper ones. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! That is what you call pure par. Like a hundred k for a boss that's that easy. Oh, come on now, guys. If you don't understand the ramifications of that, then I don't know what to tell you. 14.2. Where is the current gem I am using? It's currently in my weapon, isn't it? 14.2. Where is my current weapon equipped? 19. Ah, right, so, yeah, it'll, it'll be a while before I get anything near that level. So, well, I, like... Oh, it just, it tickles me, like, people want to level up extremely fast. Just do the Chalice Dungeons. There is, there really and truly is not an argument for it anymore, considering bosses are forking out 100,000. That's a kill. And it's not like some of the bosses are exceptionally difficult. Like, I came in here with, what, about 100, maybe about 100k? Give or take. And I'm already layer one, I'm already up 300k. Like, I'll be leaving here with about a million. And that's not counting the actual physical, the actual, the additional of the physical stuff either. Like, I'm gonna be leaving here with it, with about the, about a million left. As long as nothing, as long as there's no particular fuck ups on my behalf, there's no reason why I can't leave here with about a million left. Like even the weaker enemies drop 2k. Uh, but that's frenzy. I forgot that you do that. This is going to hurt, isn't it? It stopped just shy. Holy shit, I am the luckiest man on earth. That was three blood vials that just saved me. So it is, right? Let's go down. But no. Oh, look, there's another one. Get back here with you. Again, like, unfortunately, there is nothing in this dungeon that is going to be good in terms of damage for the meantime. I'll have to do the cursed version to get the best ones. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Anybody who says that the Chalice Dungeons ain't worth it are talking out of their ass. If you want to get powerful really early, do the Chalice Dungeons. I said, I could have done all of this here long before. Like, I could have, like, Ailing Lauren. I, I had gotten the lower Lauren Chalice. I could have got it long before I actually did get it. And just minced my way through the entire game. It was just the fact that it was just taking my time. I wasn't rushing it. I was just take it. taking my time. Oh no. You are fairly resistant to bleed. Or blood blood type damage. Sorry, this is a more accurate way of saying that. Alright, Chicago, I don't need you draining every drop of my health right now. Um Pearl Slug? Well, I don't really need them. Oh, no, I'll not need them at all, actually. Big fucking big balls of slime. How about now? Grab this. Oh, lovely. It was nice enough to give me some sedatives. But again, why do I keep finding dead ends? Oh, that's why, because I'm an idiot and ran past where I was actually meant to go. So that there's the lift up, and look, there's a door right here that I just so happened to miss because I'm blind. Free 
Man, the suckers are very common here, aren't they? How do you build up frenzy resistance? I'm gonna frenzy out now anyway. Oh no, he just said spray all over the place. Well, that was easy. <laughs> out of my way, bitch. Can't bring down Blood Jam. Of course! Yeah, like, I'm really tempted to just start force feeding my arcane so whenever I go and actually start trying to farm fucking gems, I will get all the stupidly powerful ones easily enough. I don't even think the Chicago comes with any arcane scaling at all. I don't think it does. Normally, we oh, it actually does. Oh, how, like, I need to see how the arcane stat actually works whenever it comes to weapons, because this bamboozles me to no end. But we're already what layer two, and we're at five hundred thousand. Whenever I do, whenever I say that I'm gonna be walking out here with the guts of a million. If I'm lucky, maybe two million. Um, yeah, I wasn't joking. Two million blood echoes for about well, we're 19 minutes in, but I've spent more time talking than actually exploring, so there is that. Um, plus we'll be taking doing the side areas as well, which obviously is like at the minute is mandatory. Oh fuck, um, is mandatory simply due to the factor of I'm looking for red jelly. That is the only reason. Why? Oh no, that there connects me back to the other area, that's why. Okay, yeah, I, I remember now. Um, the only reason we're here is we're looking for red jelly. Um, likely all it says, it's going to be in a chest somewhere. Oh, Celestials, hello. Please tell me I clipped your ass on the way down. Right, let me see, what's up this way first? We'll go this way first, because I'm assuming that there's going to be a bit of backtracking involved soon enough. Can cold blood like oh, that is not kind of the actual um, liquid echoes we're going to be getting, you know, or the the hard item echoes that we're going to be getting? Like we're not counting that, right? Let's open up this gate here. Normally, this is we're basically going back into the main area that we just covered. So we are. And we're just gonna pipe our like um, the temptation to just go into fucking. Like, there's, there's the temptation for going into Blood Pinch, obviously. Then there's the temptation of just going into fucking Arcane. And saying that, though, like, I can just come back here later on, only just curse it up. And then just do it that way, and then just go get some really busted fucking gems. <sighs> Fortunately, I can't get really, I can't get the really strong Raid Nail gems yet. I need to do the Great Ill Chalice Doohickey. Order, which is obviously problematic due to the fact that, well, that requires time. Because I have to beat the chalice and then go and repeat the chalice like seven times to go get the correct amount of gems that I would like. But that's not even counting if I want to rotate fills again later on. Oh, there's just, there's just more than I let on whenever it comes to this shit, so there is. Right, let's grab everything here, then we'll go in through here and see what's down here. Because we killed a Celestial. Uh, that's another down, and we can go continue on down, so we'll do that later. Oh, this is a magical doorway. Okay, then. Let's see where this brings us to. I see two brain suckers. How are you doing, guys? Can I get close enough to fucking shoot you? Get you fuck off, man. See that running shit, mate? Like, you honed in on me after three dodges. No. Dude, just continue to home in on me 20k. Oh, fucking hell. This is fucking. They're, like, they're, like. <sighs> Odd. Oh, God. Ah, that's just, that's bringing back memories now, guys. The odd dumps, because it adds flat damage, just get a flat, a shit ton of flat arcane damage on your fucking rifle spear, right, and just go around and just two tap and shit, like. Oh, the brutality. The memories. 
the memories of being the most evil son of a bitch that ever walked the planet. Oh, that's just a straight up dead end. Okay. How very thoughtful of you, game. What about down here? Well, there's a way down there. I just triggered a trap because I'm an idiot and wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Quite frankly, I would like to not die. Fuck. It was unnecessary and then there was that. I would like to not die, thank you very much. That was just a little bit too much too soon, so it was. I'll pass, thanks. And then Scorpius. Right. See, this is why I have the Tinnitus. Just for you. It, it, it still out damages my Chicago. Like, that's the fun part. The tonight on these, on those guys there, the Tinnitus still out damages my Chicago. Like, that says enough. Certain enemies have certain weaknesses. Make sure to abuse them whenever it comes to, comes to the point of doing it. Most enemies are weak to blood. That's kind of the fun part of it, because it, it, like the bleed, da blood damage is only designed for pistols. So whenever it's a it's applied to a weapon, it gets broken very quickly. Right. What? Why do you keep feeding me dead ends, game? Why? I still get the feeling I'm missing something in there, but I cannot be fucked trying to find out what I'm missing, so... Fuck that, we're moving on to the boss. Oh, hello! Oh, you're not... The last time I met you, you got deleted right quick. Uh, no, that's not how this works, dude. That is not how this works. GG. A hundred and fifty thousand. Give me two seconds, guys, and go ahead back to the hunter's dream. I need to check something here super quick. Okay, so after digging around for a bit, uh, I managed to find that base blood pellets don't actually work on the Chicago, which is disappointing, to say the least. But it does mean that if I really do want to, we can rotate to another weapon. So it does. Um, now, what weapon are we thinking of right now? Blade of Mercy sounds like a nice option. Um, as I said, we still have the Uncanny Saw Spear if we really want to go full fucking overkill. Uh, oh, it annoys me because the Beast Blood Pellets are so strong and physical damage is a beast. So it is. Um, it is. It, it disappoints me, so it does. That is the case. Because the Chicago is such an awesome weapon, and the fact that it doesn't work with these blood pellets, which would make bosses so much easier. As it says, now my temptation is really just to go get the Uncanny Ludwig's Holy Blade, so it is. Or, well, as it says, we could rotate over to the uh, Blades of Mercy, if we really did want to. It's a lot close quarters, it's close quarters, should be fun enough to actually use. Plus, the Blade of Mercy is also just an awesome weapon. 
There is also that. The choices are real. As I said, we probably could just rotate over to the Rakuya later on as well. So many choices, so little time. The temptation to go with the Blade of Mercy though is ridiculous. Right, well, as it sits, what we'll do is, is we will currently just stick with the Chicago until I feel like I want to do a weapon change. So we will, on the other hand, uh, what do we do? Um, let's level up a bit more, sure. Blood Echoes, yes, I want to level up my stamina, because my stamina is kind of falling behind here, so it is. Um, what are we thinking, though? Um, we'll go three levels into our health, that would give us a tasty boost. As I said, we've got 50 blood tinge, like, so, and skill as well. Skill could, skill would be definitely a go-to. We can keep upgrading our strength, or we can finally start going into Arcane, which would boost our discovery. <laughs> so many choices, so little time! This is such an irritation to me, so it is. I don't want to, I don't want to lose my blood echoes. So I don't, even though there's a very slim chance of me actually losing them. So we're gonna go stamina for the time because getting more stamina is gone. Yeah, if I do, um, the temptation to rotate over into the Blades of Mercy though is an interesting one. Anyway, well, Blades of Mercy could be an interesting one, so it could be. But we'll stick with the Chicago for the meantime. I don't really think there's much else that we really could rotate into. Um, per se, I say he's getting the uncanny Ludwig's at the minute is looking very, 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 very pleasant. So it is just going to point that out. So I'm super quick. It is looking very pleasant because that there would be one hell of an upgrade. So it would. Plus, it would just allow me to straight up mince just about every single boss that's in this game at the minute. Sorry, but the tonight this is coming out again because um, fuck these skelly boys. Alright, skelly boys? The scorpions. Fuck the scorpions. Right. Um. Oh, there's no scorpions, fuck's sake. As it says, I still haven't found any red jelly, so. Oh, hello! Oh, wow. That failed miserably. Oh, wow, you're a thing. Um, sir. The uncanny Ludwig's is looking more and more plausible as this fight, as these fights continue on. To be fair, um, pro should probably actually get around upgrading the Nitrous again. To be fair as well, because if I'm gonna be dealing with more of these scorpion guys, um, I'm gonna want the Nitrous to be nice and beefy. So I am. Um, as I say, like, there is also just the Saw Spear, but I feel like the Saw Spear is just a bit boring, but then at the same time, the Chicago is the exact same category. <laughs> the Chicago is boring as well. Oh, the choices. So many choices, so little time. There is just, there is just a lot that I want. There's a lot of weapons I want to use, but at the exact same time, there's just a lot of weapons I I can't use, well, it's not that I can't use them, like there is just a whirly gig, then the whirly gig again I'm going to put down to, that is going to be boring simply because the whirly gig saw is, no, 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 the whirly gig saw is just that broken, and I don't want, I don't really want to abuse the most broken weapon in the game, even though that would be a lot of fun. As I say, we're like as long as we can use the Avalanche, we're pretty much Gucci because the Avalanche sort of the, is the big selling point of Blood Tinge. So it is the Avalanche is definitely the big selling point. Hey, uh, for a second there, it took me a sec. It took me a second there to figure out where the fuck I was. So it did. I'm waiting for a giant burning ball to come up me though. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that happened. Can I search the body, please? Thank you. So yeah. 
There's definitely thoughts to be had. So there is. I wouldn't mind getting my beast hood up to an extent where, like, actually being able to use beast hood. Or a weapon that could actually abuse beast hood. Mm. Is this just one. Like, share, like, why? Why, game? Why is this just one dead end? What is the point of that? That is so unfucking necessary. So it is. But no, the base hood would definitely be. A, like, it would be just a damage increase overall, and it would allow me to be a lot more powerful than I currently am, simply because base hood is just simply that broke. So it is. I feel like seriously, like um, Margot's wet nurse and fucking um. Every Ennis was uh, proven is just proven information on that one, so it is. So it makes me think that the Blades of Mercy might be a nice option. Celestials, brain suckers. Oh, okay. So, the, so the small ones can use it too. Oh no. Okay, dude. Look, I'll I, I'll be back for you. Don't you worry about that. I could always just keep the Chicago as a sidearm for whenever I decide oh, I want to use it. Okay, okay, dude. Fuck off. Right, I get it. I'm not wanted here. Fuck you, you oversized piece of shit. Right, no, because I'm about to get fucking pincered by fucking spells again. Fuck you to death. Die. Fuck you, you oversized piece of shit! Okay. Doggles are problematic. Okay, problematic might be the fight way of putting it. Fuck YouTube, I used to just absolutely no. Just so many levels of fucking no. Talk about being a royal, royal thorn in my side. Like, what are you doing? Are you deaf, sir? Apparently fucking so. Right, back onto the normal path. That side dungeon pissed me off to no end. Oh, and something just randomly decided to die as well. So that's also fun as well. But no, uh, whenever it comes to bosses, the not able to build up these two is a problem. Um, so I, I, I really don't have an answer. Like as it says, Blood Tinge is already... Chicago is always strong without it, but anything with these two just completely blows anything that the Chicago can do out of the water. Well, I say that, but at the exact same time, Prospector Germa. But at the exact same time, it's just it's one of those sort of rinse and repeat moments where you're just like, mm. it's making a choice. But whenever you're doing this kind of thing, you're like, your choices are free, and like. The way I'm looking at it right now, just the recue you just looks like a beautiful option to pick up. So it does, but that's after the fuck it, that's after Maria like so that's kinda eh. That's kinda out of the question at the minute, so it is. So yeah, this is where the connector uh, well no, it is even where the connecting point is. Fucking hell, because I know there's a connecting point between these areas. 
So yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Like as says, the Shikage is already strong enough as it is. You can just keep adding blood tinge and if you really want to die insult to injury, what you can do is go and get the blood tinge, uh, really powerful blood tinge gem on the lost Shikage. And at that stage you're basically sorted. Like there's very little that's gonna stop you at that stage. Great One's Wisdom is also going to be handy because I'm going to need now 60 fucking insight for uh, Blood Rock. So I am. Um, that there is the connecting area because uh, one of the gates was locked on the side dungeon. So I'm assuming this is the connecting point to it. Assuming. There's always a level of assumption that's added to these things and it's always fun. So it is. Oh, hi guys! Yeah, it's just you wake up everybody that's here. Twi- <laughs> I still, like, I, I look at the blood echo count and then I'm just like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, like what all weapon could I feasibly use? It's always the question in the back of my head. What weapon could I feasibly use? That is interesting. Yellow backbone. I don't need that. I probably will need that later on, like, but I don't need that right now. Um, right. What's it over? Here? What we kill over here? No, this isn't even kill. That's just kin cold blood. Okay. Um, what's over here then? This is probably just the continuation to the area. Hold it. Okay. Sorry, the I just see the smoke and I was just like, fuck. And we're all like back up to six hundred thousand. Like, what is going on? Right. Assuming the ball falls, and then we've got the, ch or the additional dungeons. So this is likely where we're going to find our red jelly, so it is, in all fairness. This is more than likely where we will find our red jelly. You're a bitch. You're an, act you're an actual bitch. I fucking despise your guts. So I do. I despise your guts to the absolute maximum. So I do. I do. I, I, I really do. I, I don't like you. No. This is how much I despise your guts. No item. Thanks, game. I was hoping that there'd be at least some. I, I need red jelly. Okay, Just give me the red jelly. There, we, there's one. I need two. I need one more. Can't bring down blood gem. Fuck you again. Oh. Uh, Tomb, uh, tomb mold five, which can just be sold for arcane haze at this rate. So it can, because um, sage's hair. Wow, six, six, six. Fucking hell. And more red. There we go. Uh, we've got all the red jelly that we need. Now we just polish off the rest of the dungeon, and that is it. Um, the only reason why we would go down side dungeons now is for. Blood echoes. There's not really much of a reason to go outside dungeons anymore. Um, at the same time, though, I still want to get nice and beefy, though. Ex. Oh, 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 no! That that annoyed me. Excuse me. No, go fuck yourself. No, that no that no that that pissed me off. So it did. No, that no that 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 no. Mm -mm. No, that pissed me off quite a bit. Actually, he was just standing at the door, ready to ambush, just ready to pounce on me the second he got the opportunity. No, not impressed, game. That has to be the cheekiest bullshit I have seen try for a fucking game to try and pull on me here, and I've dealt with some really unnecessary bullshit in this game so far, like. Oh, messenger bath. Why, hello. What are you selling? Nothing here. Oh, you sell the uncannies and the lost. Okay, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, I'll take that though. Sinister bell, arcane he is, requires red jelly. Wow, okay. I'll just take that so well. Thank you. The sinister one just is, I think they're just mostly used for PvP shit. So they are. Not much else, not much more. Um 
Oh, well, we finally find the lever. So that's at least a bonus. Still trying to figure out, though, what weapon I want to use. The Chicago is just so good, though. Like, it is. Like, you can't really argue. The Chicago is just that good. Ugh. The Chicago is just that good, like. You can't really, you, you can't really complain about it. I think people just have an uh, unnecessary feeling for it because of the absolute shit show it caused in PvP whenever people finally figured out how good it was. But no, like, the Chicago, like, it's a good weapon, it's just, as it says, whenever it comes to PvE and the fact that it can't abuse base blood pallets, makes it kind of unfair I suppose well we're gonna go take on I think it's Ebrietus again and we're gonna be using the Chicago as it says we could bully Ebrietus is it Ebrietus? I've got nearly a hundred zero percent? no it is Ebrietus so okay. um, only problem is this version of Ebrietus is a lot more difficult so it is Ooh, hey. Ow. That says that like, you, you can immediately tell it's not as easy as the last time I fought it. So it's not. Definitely not as easy as the last time I fought it. That's awfully your spit. Is that there's pure frenzy bullshit? Oh, don't you fly away, on me, you bitch. Get back here! I need to try and smack that head. Now she has that fucking AoE feel. And then the charge. Every eight is daughter of the cosmos, people. Right. No. Look, if I have to, if I have to cheese you with the Evelyn, I will. You won't give me your fucking head. I like, guess is what I mean. This is the only. This is the only reason to go blood tinge. Just use the fucking Evelyn. This is why I'm not opposed to cheat blood rock. Oh well, fuck the sixty insight required. Um, that's the only reason. That this is the only reason you go blood tinge is the fucking Evelyn. That's it. There's nothing more or less to it. It's just use the fucking Evelyn. That that is it. Do you see my point now? This is why I'm not opposed to upgrading a different weapon, which at this rate is very, very, very close to looking like I'm going to go get the Ludwig's Holy Blade. Like, look at those scalings, and it's only plus five B and C. Look at my stats. All I have to do is upgrade my strength a bit more, and this weapon's going to be beastly. <sighs> Sorry, I went off on a little rant there because that last fight just tickled me a lot. Right, we're gonna. Uh, do you all know something, guys? Even though I went, at least you got to enjoy at least two videos of me using the Chicago. Um, we we'll probably will rotate around to the Blades of Mercy just for the shits and giggles, for the extra use, I guess. But eh, it's just eh. So it is. Um, I probably will go get my hands on the Ludwig's Holy Blade because um, simply just down to its sheer power. Like, it would make everything later on in this game just so much easier that it's just unnecessary easy. So it is, but I'm going to need to be as absolutely busted as possible going into NG Plus and NG Plus Plus because I've got two more endings to get. And that's going to be unnecessary. Luckily enough, the DLC will not be part of them two runs because fuck that. I'm not fighting off in the cause on New Game Plus. You can suck it. Other than that, though, there's not really many weapons bar the Rokuyo that I would really think of using simply due to, well, I want to use Beast Hood. I'd say we could always use the Beast Claws, but that's a little bit overkill as well.
So guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe if you did enjoy. I'm away to get the uncanny look which Holly did, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!